The ambitious project to provide South Australian grain growers with a state-of-the-art port at Lucky Bay is now a reality. The 358 hectare Lucky Bay port facility and its sister storage site at Lock have been designed to streamline grain transport all the way from the farm gate to the bulk carrier. Game-changing innovation, automation and efficiency make this unique infrastructure investment a highly competitive grain storage and export solution in the local logistics system. The first of a new concept in local transshipment ports, the Lucky Bay port and bunker complex has a total grain capacity of 384,000 tonnes, supported by 140,000 tonnes additional bunker storage strategically located on Central Air Peninsula at Lock. The new port facility features automated way bridges, automated grain sampling and smart traffic movement, which enables an intake rate of 24,000 tonnes per day and also streamlines on-site processing. State-of-the-art grain classification equipment and inventory management systems ensure the quality and integrity of grain throughout the receival and export process. The challenge of exporting bulk grain from a shallow draft port is solved by the bespoke transshipment vessel MV Lucky Air, built especially for the port. This remarkable 87 metre quad screw ship needs just 4 metres of water depth to ferry 13,800 tonnes of grain per day to ocean going bulk carriers waiting offshore. This highly flexible, world-first model can be adapted to mineral exports, commodity imports and more, reducing the need for expensive deep water ports and long-distance bulk haulage onshore. T-Ports is now moving the innovation to York Peninsula, with preparations for a second port and bunker facility at Wallaroo well advanced. By combining innovative thinking with advanced technology and purpose-built efficiency, T-Ports is showing the world how we can bring the port to the product and global markets to South Australia's front door.